All right, it is time for another episode of the Henry Hall Underdog Quarterback Road to Glory series. And you can see Henry Hall um, has become the starter, and the Bears are 1 and 5. We can check his stats on the year um, real quick. And he has six touchdowns, 22 interceptions, and a 58 completion percentage. So he's been terrible. Um, but we're going to see Kenny figure this out. Um, he has been playing a little bit better. If you haven't checked out the other episodes, make sure you check them out. But we are going to be taking on Duke this week, who is 3-0 in the ACC so far. All right, so we are on the road at Duke. And you can see their little run out. We are in, what, North Carolina? Wallace Wade Stadium. They're packing the house uh, at Duke football, I guess, since they're having a good year, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I usually feel like Duke's not very good at football. Um, especially at least when I play in dynasty modes on this game. So we'll see um, how this game goes for Henry Hall. And the Cow Bears will be starting with the ball. And Coach says, let's go ahead and hand it off um, to start. So hoping that Hall can try to start figuring things out. In the other episodes, he did uh, he did start the year with, with two back-to-back -back six interception games. I believe. I know he did start uh, with no touchdowns and 12 picks for sure. And you can see we're running the ball. Good start. Two rushes, 11 yards. Get the first down on that one. Um, so let's see. The Bears were able to get a win versus Florida, which was um, a big game for Hall. He played well. Led them to a late touchdown uh, drive towards the end of the game. And we're going to throw it to the running back. Good ball. And good catch by the running back before uh, Hall gets some pressure. So good first pass for Hall on this one. I think he's starting to figure it out a little bit, though. I wouldn't say too much, but he's starting to get better. You definitely need to get his overall up, his accuracy up, because uh, some of the passes that he'd be making uh, do not be the greatest. But that's what happens when you're an underdog quarterback on this game. You don't get a lot of points. So... We're going to go with the motion pump here on third and inches. Don't know if I'm a fan, but why not? And we do have Matthews, bad ball, but Matthews does hang on to it. So the first drive, the Bears are driving. Driving it early. And it's going to be a five-yard run right there, so not a bad one. At the eight-yard line, so second and five from the eight. We're going to keep handing it off I don't know why he cut outside no gain there so it's gonna be third and five coach says let's pass it do not like this play at all but we do have man coverage on the right side we do and that's a that's great defense I mean he he had nothing he had nothing over there one-on-one -on -one, he was locked up but we should get a field goal on the first drive which we do and Duke is gonna not score so the defense gets a stop I feel like our defense has been really good for the Bears. So Henry Hall is going to hand it off. Another big run. Breaks a tackle. Gets down the sideline. That's about a 15-yard gain on the run to take us probably to the end of the first. Nope. We're going to get one more play. Another run. Let's let's keep giving it to Barnes. He's working right now. And that's going to be stuffed. Does break the tackle, though. So end of one. 3-0 for the Bears. Second and 10 from the 35. We're just going to hand it off again. Get the run game going. Barnes tries to break outside. I just think I just pancake someone. So it's going to be third and three here. Coach is going to let us air it out. Does have a man, but that's going to be a terrible ball. Which I don't... It might have been a pick anyways. So Bears will be punting it here on fourth and three. And here comes the Bears again after another stop by the defense. Coach says read option. We know uh, we, we there's no read. The read is a handoff every time. We might as well call that inside zone because we are not uh we're not keeping on a read option with Henry Hall who has like a 50 speed probably, but we are going to throw it to the running back and that's picked, almost picked. Thought they were in man, ends up being the zone. So third and six from the 31. They're not going to bring pressure. Going to have a man underneath and he's going to take a hit and we'll be punting it again. Just nothing going on the last two possessions, really. Duke does get a touchdown, but no extra points. So it's going to be 6-3 to three 
And here we go with another option play, which, like I said, is a handoff play because we're not keeping it. There's no, no read. So we're going to be throwing it here on second and seven. And that's going to be uh, incompletion after Henry Hall takes the hit as he's trying to get rid of it. We do see press coverage over here on Matthew, so let's go ahead and read the safety, and he is going to help over the top. We do have a man across the middle, and it's going to be completed. So good ball by Henry Hall, and it's going to get us a first down on third down. And we are in Duke territory now. So we are going to hand it off and get nothing and a fumble. I think our old line can recover. Thank goodness. So second and 14 after the fumble. And Henry Halls tries to roll out. Breaks a tackle. Can't break another tackle. And it's going to be third and uh, third and 31 here. I am going to switch the play. We're going to go jet pass to get him a free completion. On, I don't think we're getting the first down. He might have had the outside, actually, though, if he stays going outside. But it's going to be another punt for the Bears' offense. So after a good f opening drive, Bears haven't really been able to get nothing. The defense does get a stop, though. So the offense will have a chance to try to get some late points, but that's going to be a bad ball as he does get a little pressured again. Don't know how uh, likely it is for this offense to be able to get in field goal range. But we are going to throw it to the running back there. Takes a hit. Third and three. We are going to go hurry up. And hopefully we can run the same play. Nope. They're going to make us run a different play. And it's going to take a hit. And it'll be another punt. So hopefully we end the half six to three. And the Bears do get a stop on the first possession of the first half. And that, oh, he slipped. And that was a bad ball anyways. But the receiver did slip in the rain. And Henry Hall throws another interception. What do you know? Classic Henry Hall. And Duke does score a touchdown. So it's going to be 13-3 to now. And that's going to be a bad ball. So second and 10 after a bad ball by Henry Hall. The coach is saying we got to air it out now, though. Does have a man. And he makes the catch. Matthews makes the catch. He had the one on one. And that's going to be a first down for the Cow Bears. I thought that was a pick, but Matthews makes the play. We're going to have the running back. And that's just going to be a high ball. I was hoping he was going to run an inside route there. But he does stop for the curl. Which is going to bring us to second and ten. And Henry Hall does have the tight end, but it's going to be a bad ball. So I don't know if he needs the, uh, what, the throw in the rain ability or something. Because I don't even think he got, like, crazy pressure right there. Does have a man. Another bad ball. Yeah, I just think he can't throw in the rain. This is crazy. First and ten. Down ten. The Bears. And Henry Hall has room to run, but not for long, as he does get sacked for the first time in the game. Coach says, let's go with the draw play, see if we can catch them off guard. And he's cold as well. And the running back, the draw play actually works. So we do catch him off guard and get 10 yards, which will bring us to third and six, which is third and manageable. Does have a man, and the corner just jumps it, and that might be to the crib. Nope. So, man coverage, corner just jumps it, sees the curl route coming, and another pick for Henry Hall. As this has been coming miserable for me to uh, to play, I'm not going to lie. This is miserable. Henry Hall is ice cold. And why not? Let's take a shot to double coverage and a flag. Maybe P.I.? Can we get a P.I.? Pass interference defense. So they there was contact early. That does give us some life. Maybe we just got to start uh, taking more shots down the field. RPO. Makes the catch. Second and inches. So we might have some life here, fellas. 
Henry Hall is still cold. And why not take a shot again? Oh, he's going to get hit. And it's going to be picked. That's why you don't take a shot. So Henry Hall throws his third pick of the game. What is new for Henry Hall? So another stop for the defense. And it's probably going to be another uh, drive with no points for the Bears. But we do get seven yards there. Let's try to go hurt. Nope, doesn't let me go hurry up. All right. So second and three. Does have a man deep. Too much air on it. Receiver drops it. He almost made a play on it. Do not like the draw play. Let's throw it. Third and three. Let's throw it. We actually should audible it to a run, but I don't think I can do that. So we're going to have a man. Makes the completion. Gets the first down. Can we go hurry up? We are going to go hurry up. What's the play call, coach? Slants. He Coach calls slants. Don't know how he's calling plays on the hurry up. And that's going to be a drop ball. So second and ten. The Bears are trying to make a late push. And I'm going to see if Matthews can beat the man off the line. And don't know if he did, but he has one-on-one, -on -one and he did not. So it probably should have been a pick. But he had one-on-one, -on -one, so you would hope, you know, your best receiver can make a play. But that's too much to ask for. And Henry Hall is going to run. And he is going to run slow. But he's going to break a tackle. He fought and gets it down to the 44 to make it fourth and one. And we are going to hand it off. And if we can't get one yard, we don't deserve to win. And we do get the first. So that's big. Henry Hall with the big run on third down to make it fourth and manageable. Let's see if Matthews can beat his man again and if the safety is going to shift over. The safety does not shift over, but we do have a man there. But that's a bad ball. And the receiver catches that somehow. After Hall literally just set him up for uh, just getting smacked. And Hall's going to take off. And he's going to get one yard. Let's go hurry up. Oh, doesn't let me go hurry up. Let's go ahead and flip the play. And let's see if we can get this bubble screen. I'm throwing it no matter what. So it might be a pick six or a first down. It's going to be a first down. I hope. And let's go hurry up. Let's go all. Let's, 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 send, them, let's send them deep. Off his back foot. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it was pressure. So second and ten here. Can the Bears get some late points? Does have a man. Does catch it. Third and three. What's the call, coach? Call, coach says send them deep. And send them deep, but those are underneath. And we're going to go hurry up again. And what does coach want here? Send them deep again. So first and 10 from the 16. Let's just pitch it to the running back again. And he makes a move. And let's go hurry up again. Now I'm going to go call a run here. And let's get in the end zone, folks. And our center can't block. I think it was the center. And it won't let me go hurry up again. So the clock's going to tick. But it's going to be second and goal. Does have a man. Touchdown, Cow Bears. So, if the defense can get a stop, we might have some life. Come on. Minus three yard rush. That's a good start. Another minus. And we get the ball back. We do get the ball back. And Henry Hall can be a hero here. Down six. Uh-oh. Not the score. Oh, it comes back up. And that that's terrible. But down six. With two minutes left, and I don't know why it keeps doing that. Does have a man. Can't get it there. All right, so it's going to be third and ten. Do good ball, but can't keep his feet in bounds. So it's going to be 4th and 10. Can Henry Hall convert on 4th and 10 to keep the drive alive? And that's going to be a pick. No, completion. Completion. We get the first down. I thought it was a pick. 
Henry Hall, I guess, seen something uh, there. And we're going to throw it away. Get rid of it. So it's going to be second and 10 from the 42. Second and 10. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Horton should be open here. It's not going to be open. But the running back is. And we complete it. And we're going to get down to the 20. So Henry Hall is leading the Bears down the field. And who would have thought we had a chance to win this game? And that receiver is just, just locked up right there. So second and 10 from the 20. Coach is saying hand it off here. I hate the call, Coach. I'm not going to lie to you. I hate the call. We're going to go RPO and we're probably going to have to hand it off. Nope, we're going to throw it. And we get a block. And with the RPO, the screen does work. It's going to be third and inches here. And now we should run it. But Coach says pass it. I don't know what is up with this Coach, man. This. And that's pick. Nope, drops it. So it's going to be fourth and inches. No, fourth and inches. And Coach says... Oh, do we go, do we toss it? I say we go RPO. We go RPO here, and I'm, I think I'm throwing it no matter what. Nope, we're handing it off, and that's, that's going to be it. So the coach, the plays suck, coach. Those plays suck. Those plays literally suck. We should have ran it on third down. Then he wants to, I just can't believe, unbelievable. We should have had a chance to win. And the Bears lose a close one. They get down to the 20, and Coach just, I don't know what, what's up with these play calls, Coach. So Hall ends up 18 for 41, 216, one touchdown, and three picks. And the rushing, uh, four for minus 13. But the running back had 17 carries, 68 yards. And after the loss, you can see Cal will be taking on Notre Dame. And the Bears will need to win five straight games in order to become bowl eligible. So... Let's see if we can get a win versus Notre Dame. So we are at Notre Dame. See the play like a cha champion today sign as they come out. The Irish, you can see it is packed out there. The fighting Irish, they love their football. And I believe what, they're in like South Bend, Indiana, something like that. And it is packed. And they are top 25 team. So can the Bears upset a top 25 team? You see they run out. And this is probably going to be one of the toughest places to play. So that's going to be fun for Henry Hall to have to deal with. And the defense starts with a stop. And, yep, 10th toughest place to play in the nation. So Henry Hall doesn't know what play he's the coach has called. But we're going to hand it off and get a gain of six to start for the offense. And let's see if we can kind of build off some of the momentum we had uh, at the end of last game. And we should get a push for the first down. Um, the offense had a meeting. The coordinator, uh, offensive coordinator, did take blame for the late play calls. So hopefully we get some better play calls uh, moving forward because that was just crazy. And let's see, can we go with the motion swing pass? And we do get it out to the running back. He does have blockers in front. And we are going to get a first down after he does make a man miss. We're going to be out to the 32-yard line. So a good start for the offense. We do get some blocks. Hand it off to the backup running back. And he's going to get a gain of 8 yards. So the run game has looked good. And it looked, it looked like this to start last game as well. And then we did settle for a field goal. So, I do feel like it's promising, but you kind of never know. And we are going to go with the screen pass. Do get blocks. Doesn't really get upfield, though, so it's only going to be a gain of three there. Second and seven. Coach says hand it off again. And I'm just I'm amazed at how packed the stadium is, actually. There's not a seat open. And it's going to be third and five. I don't really like the corner striker. Right there, and I can't see what icons my receivers are. I believe this triangle is one of them, and X is the other one, and that's going to be a pick. Oh, almost a pick. So we should get a field goal. Actually, I almost threw a pick there. 
First and 10. Bears do have a 3 nothing lead after the defense gets another stop. And we're going to go RPO, and that's just going to be stepped in the backfield. Two-yard loss, so a 3 nothing lead to end the first quarter. There's going to be second and 12. And I, don't, I literally don't know what the play is, so... We're just going to get sacked and fumble it, but our running back is able to uh, recover it. So I guess we'll take that. Coach says let's throw it deep. So why? Nope. We're going to take a hit and get sacked again. So back to back sacks. At least he didn't fumble that time. It's fourth and 33. So the punt team will come out. And that's going to be a touchdown for Notre Dame. So it's going to be 7 to 3. Still don't know the play. Let's see. Does have a man. That's going to be a pick. Uh, pick to the safety over the top. It's just a classic one. Just classic out here. Don't know what to do. Notre Dame does score a touchdown here. So Henry Hall is cold. And going to hand it off. And nice little run. Four yards. And we're going to go fake jet halfback scene here. On second and six. And that almost could have been a pick after he takes another hit. So we can't block. We can't throw. We can't run. But we are going to have a halfback. And he can't turn around in time. So it's going to be another punt. The defense does get a stop though. So that is promising I would say. We do have time, but there's nothing open. There's just nothing open, so we're going to throw it into the stands. I'm tired of this play, and I don't like any of these plays either. This is miserable. Second and 10. Let's send, let's send, uh, no, we got Brady going deep already. Let's, let's throw it over the top. He just gets no separation. So we're going to have Matthews across the middle, and I believe that's the same safety that got the other interception. He's going to get another one. So another interception for Henry Hall. And Notre Dame probably going to score again. They do score again, so it's going to be 21 to 3. And we're going to throw it to the running back. And we are going to get the first down. So maybe we can get some points to end the half. Henry Hall has 26 passing yards after that completion. <laughs> Just miserable. And he's going to get sacked again because our O-line can't really block. And we're going to run the same sh terrible play again. We're going to send Matthews deep, and we're just going to throw it. We're just going to throw it. No, we're not going to throw it because we can't block. <laughs> this is insane. This Notre Dame defense is freaking a bunch of NFL players. And coach says we're not passing it no more. We're going to run the ball. So we are going to hand it off and just hope for the best and punt it again because why not? Why not just punt it? They do score again, so we will have 39 seconds to try to get some points. And why not just get sacked again? Literally can't throw it. Literally don't have enough time to throw it. This is unreal. Just going to scramble. Can't get rid of it before taking a hit. So it's going to be third and 18. Coach says, nope, we're running it again. Coach, this didn't work last time because they got points still. So I don't know why you want to do this again and just, you know, gain a nothing. I guess passing is not working either because we're just getting sacked. So can't really blame you. But they're going to call timeout. 16 seconds. They're probably going to get more points before the half because why wouldn't they? And you can see the wear and tear on, uh, on Hall is insane right now. So... Cal's going to start with the ball uh, down 3 to 28. And we are going to go with the RPO screen, which we do get some yards there. Coach says, let's get another free completion with the jet pass. And, you know, maybe Hall won't get sacked if we do a jet pass, which he won't. And we are going to get the third and inches, so close to a first down. Coach says, run for it. Now, in been in this scenario before where it's third and inches and we run for it and 
This time we get it, and it's going to be a pretty good get game. Um, coach says, now let's pass it. So let's go ahead and pass it then, Coach. It might be a pick, though, but we're going to throw it. Maybe, or we're going to get sacked. And nothing, nothing, nothing. Just throw it to the running back and let him get hit. One-yard gain. One-yard gain. And we're going to have a man. Can he keep his feet in bounds? What a catch. Nice catch. Nice ball. Henry Earl now has 60 whopping yards. 60 big ones on the game. We're going to go play action here. And can't get rid of it before taking another hit. So it's going to be second and 10. We're going to go RPO here. It's going to be able to get it out. Good ball. Six yards. Coach says let's go with the screenplay. So let's see if we can get the screenplay out without getting hit. Does get it out. Does get the block in front. Does get the first down. And to the eight. So first and goal now. We're going to fake the jet and hand it off. So the offense moving on this drive, I guess you would say. Game might already be over, though, but, you know, the Cow Bears tend to like getting late points, and we are going to overcall coaches running here to see if Hall can throw it in the end zone. And I'm just going to throw it to the running back, who does have room, and he does get in the end zone. So, Henry Hall throws a late touchdown. You can see the wear and tear, minus eight throwing power. Uh, the defense does get a stop, and let's see if we can... I mean, if we get another touchdown, a quick touchdown, might have some life here. But Hall's going to take a hit because it's just a free run at him. This O-line must hate Henry Hall. They must, like, actually hate him. I don't know what he did. I don't know if he, you know, messed with one of their girlfriends or something. But the O-line hates, I mean, hates Henry Hall. Because they do not block at all. And that's going to be a pick. Oh, wait. Completion. Wow. Corner didn't jump it. We're not running. Why are we running a, a, a option play? Let's go with this medium middle screen. Doesn't get really blocked. So that's going to be two yards. So start the fourth down 18. Can the Bears come away with some points here? Coach says fake jet halfback seam here. Let's see how it's looking. And another hit. Henry Hall is dying out there. He's definitely putting his body on the line for the team. And takes another hit on a screen pass. Nice. So fourth and eight. Coach says it's time to go for it. Let's see. Can... Cal convert. Nope, that's going to be a pick. So I think that's that dude's third pick. And he breaks a tackle and it's gone. He broke a tackle and that's going to be a pick six. And I'm just getting jumped by this old line. And he looks back at Henry Hall and it's like, you are terrible. Uh, now, I don't know if that's his third pick. It might be his third pick, though. And the wear and tear is adding up. And let's see what Henry Hall can do. Tries to let it go. Takes another big hit. So, I don't, I mean, at this point, I'm more concerned about Henry Hall's health than winning this game. So he does get it out quick. Doesn't take a hit on that play. It's going to be a gain of eight. <laughs> that receiver has five catches, 23 Yards like what? Takes another hit. Oh, ooh, more wear and tear. Ouch. More wear and tear for Henry Hall. There's a flag. Henry Hall's gonna run. He's not gonna get nowhere though. Hopefully, it's offsides or something. Holding. Oh. 
I thought it was going to be on the defense, the, how quick it was. Buddy had to hold that quick. Maybe that's why he had a little bit of time. So first and ten. Henry Hall is wondering why the coach is leaving him in the game. He's going to take another hit. I don't know. Nothing's open. Either nothing's open or I'm not seeing it. So second and ten here. Let's just throw it deep. Nope. Takes another hit. I mean, the fact that he's still in this game is kind of kind of amazing. He probably is taking more hits than completions. Does get rid of it. Does take a hit, though. And coach says, let's go for it. Because why not? And that wear and tear, you see it's red. And not going to escape there. Takes a sack. There's just nothing. I don't know. Notre Dame's defense is playing like an NFL team. Minus 19 throw actually. Minus 19 speed. Minus 18 throw power. I mean, can Henry Hall get out this game? Nope. Coach says, stay in there and you're going to take your lumps like a man. Let's just get it out quick to the running back. Gain of eight. Henry Hall's out here like, I'm not having fun no more. I forget who said that, but that's definitely a new quote from Henry Hall. I think it was an NBA player who said that. Don't remember who. So first and ten. Has a man. The throwing power probably is the reason why that's uh, underthrown. Because he definitely had him beat. By a lot. But it's underthrown. Does get it there to Matthews, though. So you'd love to see that. And Henry Hall is hurting. He's limping up the field. I think the receiver just got hurt now. Yeah, they just took him out the game. So I think Matthews just got hurt. So there's no one safe out here for Cal Bears against his defense. The running back might get hurt after that hit as well. At least Henry Hall is getting it out quick now. He's learned his lesson. I respect it. Get it out quick. Make your receiver take the hit and drop the ball. So third and three. The Bears are kind of moving it, though. Quick one. Out of bounds, though. I mean... You got to stay in bounds there. I'm not going to lie. Oh, they overturned it. They challenge it. They said he was in bounds. And we'll take it. Paul's going to run. He's not going to run very far or very fast. I should have made a, I should have made him a scrambler. Because this is miserable. Second and 13. And that's going to be picked. Nope. Pass interference. Got to be pass interference, right? What are you crossing your arms for? You just, yep, pass interference, buddy. Uncross those arms and give us a first down, Cow Bears. No, we're not running it. We don't got time for a run. Get it out quick. And, I mean, he just read it. He just ran right to him. I guess we'll run it, coach. If you want to run it that bad, we'll, nope, two minute warning. Yep, pass it. Got him. I let him think he was going to be able to see a run and then. Two minute warning. That's picked. That might be to the crib. Can Hall catch him? Run, Hall, run, 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 run. Oh! <laughs> what an effort by Hall. Pick six. That's his second pick six of the game. Hall has four picks. Risk of an injury is high, and Coach says you're going to take these lumps. Please get him out the game, Coach. He's literally dying out here. He does have a man deep. Oh, he actually caught it. That was actually a good ball. So first and 10 from the 34 after the deep pass. It's 52 to 10. Let's try it again. Another ball. Another good ball. Not a bad ball. Not a great ball either. Second and 10 from the 34. Hall sees room to run. Takes a hit. He is fighting. Third and five. Third and five. And oh my goodness, he's going to take another hit. Fourth and 13. 
Is Coach going to go for a kick, kick a field goal, please? Please kick a field goal. Yes, get him out the game. That wear and tear is severe. And that's going to be a game. So Henry Hall does survive, but the Cow Bears don't as it's 52-10. to 10. Henry Hall ends up 21 for 42, one touchdown, four interceptions, and minus 67 yards after all the sacks. And, yeah, we didn't really run the ball because we were down so early. The Bears will be taking on South Alabama. They are 0-5 in the ACC and are not bowl eligible anymore. But I will say this. I know you're hurting. You can see the minus 19 speed, minus 20 everything. So we're going to get him some health, but we need him to train. So that health is going right back down. And I'm not going to lie. I don't really feel like wasting my points on that because I need him to get better. But we also can't train. So we'll do one more health. I guess we can go two more. All right, so he's back healthy for the South Alabama game. We need to get that GPA up low key. It's a 3.2, but we got a skill point. So we got four skill points. What can we upgrade? And accuracy is five. IQ is two. I'm not going to lie. Elusiveness. We'll go with elusiveness. And we're going to go with IQ. He needs to start seeing it better. And that does get him to a 74 overall, so he is getting better. And let's go ahead and jump in, into the South Alabama game. Are at home. It's probably empty for this game, but yep, it's very empty. It hasn't been emptier. So everyone is tired of watching Henry Hall, and I don't blame him, to be honest. I do not blame him. We're going to start with the ball first, and, like, this is crazy how empty the stadium is. But, I mean, the Bears are 1-7, and, and Henry Hall is not the most uh, appealing quarterback to watch, I would say. So, Coach said, let's start with some handoffs. Get the offense going a little bit, and it's going to be third and five. So, Coach says, all right, this is your chance. And we're going to throw it to the back, low ball, but, I mean, he does catch it, and he does take it for a big gain, actually. So, it's going to be first and 10 from the 45 after a nice catch by the halfback. And we're going to run it here. Handoff. Tackle. Loss of one. Coach says hand it off again. I'm not watching Henry Hall throw 20 interceptions. And it's going to be third and seven. And does have a man. Oh, I did not see the safety. Thank goodness it wasn't picked. So it's going to be fourth and seven. Probably going to be a punt here. And the Cow Bear fans are tired of watching Henry Hull. South Alabama gets a field goal. So it's going to be first and ten from the 25. And I'm not going to lie. Henry Hull might have to transfer. Just because of the fact he might not be a welcome on campus anymore. Like, this has been a terrible experience for the Cow Bears fans. And, I mean, Henry Hall as well. And just everyone involved. So, like, I could see them, you know, even if he would be the starter next year. It's just like, this is ugly football. It's going to be fourth and five, another punt. We're going to go with the motion, pump, and go. On first and ten. Does have Matthews coming across. Takes a hit. Does complete the pass though for nine yards. So Hall sits in the pocket, takes the hit, and delivers the ball. Our running back, our running game is just getting absolutely blown up right now. And I'm going to send Matthews deep. And hopefully he can beat, I mean, it's South Alabama, fellas. South Alabama, let's 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 beat their secondary. Nope, let's not. So it's gonna be another punt for the Bears offense. And the defense does give up a touchdown, so we'll be first and ten. The Bears are down ten nothing. And he does have a man deep actually, and he does take a hit, so he can't deliver it. So it's gonna be second and ten. And I mean I'm surprised there's actually this many people here at this point. Should have the slant. Nope. DB or linebacker. Someone drop back and sees it. And there's just nothing for the this 
Cal Bears offense. Actually miserable. There is Henry Hall running. And he's going to jump for the first and takes a hit and fumbles. He tried to go over the top for the first down and he fumbles on that. So South Alabama will be uh, taking over. They score another touchdown. So it's going to be 17-0 after the fumble by Henry Hall. And that's a good run. That's a really good run. And that's going to be the two-minute warning. So now it's going to be first and ten. A little bit past the 40. Hall's trying to stand in the pocket and just has, does not have enough time. And that's going to take us to second and 16. And it's going to be another sack as there's just nothing developing. Coach says run it. I try to switch it. And Coach says no, you're running it. So third and 22. Down 17 nothing to a South Alabama team. They're going to call a timeout. And there's some Bears faithful right there, huh? Fourth and 19, we're going to punt. Defense gets a stop, so we will get the ball back from the 8-yard line here. And let's go over the top. Nope, get takes a hit. So coach says screen pass. I actually might have been a completion deep. I don't know. Matthews looked like he had him beat. It's probably going to be underthrown though. Screen pass do get it out in time. There is room to run. The running back does get tackled though. And Henry Hall has a 65 yards almost at the end of the first half. So I would say he's playing great, right? And Matthews going to beat him outside. Good ball down the sideline. Gets out of bounds to the 36. So we might be able to get some points here. I wouldn't count on it, though. But there's a chance that the Cow Bears get points here. And he does have a man. That's a good ball. Overthrown. Oh, my goodness. That's wide open. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Oh, my God. This is miserable. That was actually a good throw. Like, on the meter, it looked like it was a good throw, at least. Oh, my goodness. Nothing's open. Third and 23, let's call a timeout, huh, coach? Coach probably should call a timeout, right? Clock's ticking. No, not, I mean, I go, okay, coach says we're running the jet pass, and I don't care what you say. So third and 23 from the 49. Free completion. Not free yards. Negative yards, actually. So it's going to be fourth and 24. Dang, the Cow Bears are, I thought it was a big hit or something. And to, so our defense must have got a turnover or something to start because we are already in the red zone. And good ball, Matthews, touchdown. So Henry Hall puts it on the money there, gets the touchdown. And that maybe can the Bears get some momentum going. We're starting about at midfield, so the defense gets another stop. Good field position here. And safety looks like he was late to it, but he's going to hawk him. Receiver does make the catch, so nice catch, nice ball over the top. Henry Hall actually doesn't have an interception yet. Don't know how often you can say that. And he has the flame under his foot, which you don't see that very often at all. And the Bears score another touchdown, so Henry Hall is trying to lead a comeback here. And I think the defense got another stop. They did get another stop, so we're going to be starting from the nine-yard line, though. So not great field position, but Matthews might have him beat. And that's going to be a pick. That is going to be a pick. So I definitely probably spoke too soon about Henry Hall uh, not throwing a pick because you knew it was coming. At some point, it was coming. And they only get a field goal, though. So it's still a one-possession game. And a touchdown and an extra point does take the lead. And he should have them. Can he deliver it, though? And that's a good ball by Henry Hall. But the receiver gets tackled at the 20. That was actually a surprisingly good ball. So it's going to be first and 10. I tried to throw it, but it was still in the play action animation. But that might be a first down. It is, so it's going to be first and 10 from the 10. And I'm actually going to call the play that I just said I didn't want to call. 
So we're going to fake the jet, hand it off, and looks like it's going to be stuffed in the backfield for a one-yard loss. So the slot fade play actually has been working. Let's get Matthews on an out route, and let's make it a smart out route, and we're throwing this for a touchdown to Matthews. I don't care. Told you. Good ball, good catch, keeps his feet in bounds. Touchdown Henry Hall to Mikey Matthews to take the lead and still got the lead, so the defense does get to stop. And and Hall does have the flame under his foot again. Which, like I said, you don't see very often. So we gotta take advantage of it. And that's gonna take us to the fourth quarter. Bears up one, surprisingly, after a bad start to this game. We're down 17-0. So on second and 10, coach says hand it off. The offense flames on the feet. Bounces it outside. Actually finds room to get four yards. I thought that was going to be stuffed. Not going to lie. So with the flames on the foot, can Matthews beat his defender off the, off the line? I don't know, but the running back can. And the running back's going to take it. Good gain there. Henry Hall's to 256 yards. So you like to see that if you're a Bears fan. And he has room to run, but he's going to get hawked, and he's going to get brought down. And it's going to bring us second and 17, so we will go draw play here. See if we can catch the defense off guard, and that's going to go nowhere. Loss of one. So coach says let's air it out here. Air it out. We got four flames on the feet. And we can't block, though. And Henry Hall fumbles. And South Alabama is in scoring territory just like that off the fumble off our own line camp block. So if Henry Hall's not throwing a pick, he's fumbling at this point. Like, it's crazy. And they only get a field goal. But, like, this is crazy. A fumble, a pick, just can't do nothing. And I don't, I had, I mean, I had, like, underneath passes, I guess. Coach says, listen, just get an easy Easy jet pass. The receivers are still got flames under their feet. So we'll go jet pass. Cuts it up. Get some blocks. Get some room. Eight yards back. Coach says let's throw it deep. I don't really like the call, but let's see. Can one of them get some separation? Try to throw it. Can't throw it. So we'll be punting it. If our defense can get a stop, Henry Hall could be a hero, though. And they do get a stop. So it's going to be 23-21. Bears with the ball. Throws it out to the tight end for his three yards. Gets out of bounds. And it's going to bring us to second and seven. Does have the tight end over the middle. Does complete it for the first down. So good start to the drive. Goes back to the tight end. Two plays in a row. Does have a man underneath. Is going to drop it. So one more play before the two-minute warning here. Probably about 15 yards, I would say, out of field goal range. Running back has room. Cuts it up. What a cut. Gets a first down. Should be in field goal range now. But you never know with college kickers. So we are going to run it here. Get to the 51. I wish there was true clock option on here because, like, you can see the clock's not running anymore. And usually in this scenario, you would just run the clock down. So I'm going to let it run to about 20 seconds, I guess, because I don't want to see her and wait. But, I mean, we're just going to run the ball. And, I mean, we might. Nope. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So that's the 35. I don't like a 50-yard field goal, Coach. So Coach says screen pass. That's actually a great play call right there. And they call timeout. Screen pass to get us in field goal range. And we don't get a block, so it's going to be a... Uh, is Coach saying go for it or field goal? Coach is going to say field goal. So let's see, can we hit the field goal? Misses the 52-yarder. <laughs> so classic. One yard. I think our defense might get a stop, though. So Henry Hall has to start from the nine-yard line and try to lead him down the field again because we just, I mean, we just did get in field goal range. 
And we're going to just throw that out of bounds. Nope, picked off on the sideline. Bears lose to South Alabama. Why wouldn't they? After a missed field goal, a Henry Hall interception, a Henry Hall fumble, it just doesn't, it just doesn't get any worse than this. Henry Hall finishes 17 for 26, so pretty good completion percentage for his standards. Two touchdowns, two picks, and a fumble. And negative 48 pass or rushing yards after all the sacks. And defensive tackle says, hey, we haven't seen you around the, as much outside the complex. Wanted to check up on you. A few of the guys are going to have an extra workout after walkthrough on Friday. It'd be cool if you can make it. Yeah, let's get an extra workout in, Henry. Let's go work out with the defense because your time with the – being a quarterback might be coming to an end. And it's going to be a bye week this week, so you know we got to get that training in. Let's just train the whole week. Who cares if your legs are broken with nine minus 23 speed? And another decent, we got morning workouts at 5 a.m. this week instead of 7. I'm setting like 10 alarms. You want me to make sure you're up? Sleep in, go to morning workouts. Yeah, we got to go to these workouts. You're terrible, bro. You're already tired and early Monday wake-ups don't help. You have five less stamina. We don't care about no stamina. Another game, Henry Hall will be taking on 24-ranked NC State on the road. Henry Hall is, uh, he might be, he might be the worst quarterback ever. 1-8, 0-5 in the ACC. Literally might be the worst quarterback ever. NC State starts by scoring a touchdown on their first drive. So let's see, Henry Hall does have a lot of wear and tear already because uh, I put him through all those workouts and said, we don't care about your wear and tear because you suck anyways. So you can't really play any worse, even if you are hurt. So you might as well try to get better. And he does throw a completion on the RPO for a first down. So good start there. It's going to be first and 10 from the 41, hands it off, and just gets stuffed. So it's going to be second and 11. And I, don't, I mean, I don't know why we're still running it, coach. And it's going to be third and seven here. Can the running back get out? I mean... Took forever, so it's gonna be a punt. So NC State scores again. It's gonna be first and ten from the twenty-five. Coach says hand it off. Henry Hall hands it off, and the running back picks up three yards. Coach says hand it off again. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna hand it off again, cause you know we're gonna gain no yards. Oh, Henry Hall just tripped over somebody. That's probably not good for. I mean. And I'm about to get hit, and that almost got picked. And Henry Hall, he might, uh, Henry Hall might ha suffer a career ending injury this game. Minus 18 speed. Minus 18 speed is crazy. It's actually insane. We are going to go with the fake there. And he does take a hit, but he does deliver a good ball to the running back, actually. That's a great ball after taking a hit. Great ball. So, like I said, the winter, who cares? You're terrible anyways. You don't worry about no wear and tear. It's going to hand it off. And the running back's going to be taken down for a loss of one. And it's going to be second and 11 from the 42. And the running back's going to get nowhere. So it's going to be th three yards. Third and eight. Can the Bears get the first down with Henry Hall throwing the ball? Probably not. And he's going to not even have a chance to throw it. Takes another hit. And it'll be another punt for the Cow Bears offense. NC State's offense scores another touchdown. So it's going to be 21 nothing here. And it's going to be another hit because our O-line is literally awful. Or like I said, they just don't like Henry Hall. And they might be trying to get him like... They might be trying to get him to have a career-ending injury so like they can start someone else. And Henry Hall is going to... Oh, he's kind of he was kind of moving there. And a timeout by NC State probably so they can get the ball back. Coach says, uh, run it. Henry Hall says, nope, I want a free completion. So we're going to go jet pass here. And no blocks, but we get a completion. So that's good. 
So it's going to be fourth and 19. And NC State scores again. And coach says that we're down so bad that why not just take a throw a Hail Mary here? So we're going to say why not? And he's going to take a hit. He does get it down there, but not probably as far as you want. And that's going to be in the half, 28 nothing. So the Bears are going to start with the ball to start the second half, down 28 nothing. And let's see if he can make it down there. Does take a hit, so it's going to be short and it's going to get tipped. Doesn't get picked off actually. And Henry Hall is hurt. He's on his back. <laughs> this is just not going to be good. And he's going to take another hit. I mean, gets up one to fight. If you want to, if you get up one to fight because you got sacked. That means uh, things are probably not going good. See if he can throw it out to Matthews. Does have a man. Does beat him. And down the sideline. That might be a touchdown. That might be. Breaks a tackle. Dives down at the one yard line. So it's not going to be a touchdown. But it is going to be first and goal from the one. And we're going to hand it off on the RPO. The running back dives in to cut the lead. 28-7. some reason, coach says... Let's go with the RPO, even though your legs might be broken. But I think Henry Hall has like a minus 20 uh, speed right now. Something like that. So we are going to hand it off here. Don't get no block. So it's going to be third and five. We have ten, Our running back has 10 rushes, 23 yards. So that's not a very good average if you ask me. So Henry Hall back to pass, back to pass, and it's gonna get take a hit. It's gonna fumble, and NC State's gonna be in scoring territory as Henry Hall just can't avoid getting hit. Minus 18 throwing power, like his whole body is uh, his whole body's just going through it. I would say. RPO drop. So second and ten. I'm surprised he's like not gotten injured though, to be honest. Why not run it? Nope, throw it on the run. Throws it upfield. That's actually a good ball. First down. Henry Hall has 151 yards. No interceptions, surprisingly. But he does have a fumble. And that's a good run to start. Uh, I mean, to get us four yards, we'll take it. Just hand it off. Another decent run. Third and three. Coach says read option. Don't love it. Won't even say I like it, but we're going to keep it. And Henry Hall has room to run. <laughs> I mean, good keep there, huh? Keeps it. Gets the first down with below. Got to be below 50 speed at this point. Does have a man deep, but takes a hit. And he's fighting. Henry Hall is fighting. And I'm sitting this dude this should be open on the this should be a touchdown to the tight end, I feel like. Nope, safety's getting over the top. Does have a man coming across. Does take a hit, but gets it there. And they do get out to the 10. So good good ball by Henry Hall after taking another hit. And that almost got picked. So second and ten here. And we're gonna hot route Hunter on a slant. Should have the slant. Does break a tackle. And Henry Hall throws a touchdown. Offense does get the ball back. Down uh, 21. Henry Hall looks like he might be healthy now, huh? Oh my god. And he's gonna get sacked again though. Didn't have the red under him. Maybe maybe he doesn't have red under him because it's like he's so hurt that it's like this is gone. There's no bar. And he takes another hit. Does get rid of it though. Like I feel like that's probably that's probably what it is. Would be my guess. So third and 24 for the Bears. Does have a man, but he takes another hit, and Coach says, 4th and 24, go for it. So why not? 
the odds for a pick on this play is, uh, I mean, never mind. Oh, <laughs> no, I was about to say. The odds for a pick was uh, minus 500, and what do you know? And it didn't go. I thought I was going to throw a deep and throw a pick. Nope. D lineman, after Henry Hall takes a hit, is going to get the pick. So, NC State's probably going to score another touch. You see the wear and tear. Severe, yeah. So, that is minus 20 everything. I mean, this is just getting comical at this point. 42 to 14. Like, I don't, I actually want Henry Hall to get benched as he takes another hit. Seven sacks on the game. Like, I just, this is actually miserable. Like, nothing's open. Literally, nothing's open. Nobody's open. There's nobody open. They're in man coverage and no one's open. Literally, no one. Not even close to open. Like, I don't even, I don't even have time to think. Not even time to think. This is insane. This O-line, actually, Henry Hall was hanging out with someone. Like, look at his injuries. Everything's just bright red. He does not care about his health, his livelihood, his future children, his future wife. Like, he's not going to be able to play with his kids. Just throw it up. Just throw it up there. Just throw it up at this point. Yeah, nothing to lose. Except for, like, your legs and your arm and your feet. Just throw it up again. One-on-one. -on -one. Make a play. Can't make a play. Not good enough. Let's see. Third and ten. Henry Hall is cold. Just run it then. Nope. Take a hit. So I don't know how many sacks that is, but it's a lot. Coach is sending them out even though it's 14 to 49. Coach says, figure it out. And by figuring out, it means throw a pick. And that's going to be to the crib. Nope, down at the three. This is miserable. 6-14. NC State with the lead. Just throw it up. Almost another pick. Just throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Matthews, can you beat your man with no safety over the top, or is the safety going to be over the top? Safety comes down. You can't beat him, though. So Henry Hall's going to run. He breaks a tackle. He fights third and inches. Come on. Fight, Henry. Fight, Henry. Come on. You can lead, you can lead him to a comeback. You got 23 seconds. That's more than enough time. Double coverage. Tries to throw it. Sacked for the 11th time. 11 sacks. 56-14. 56-14. Oh, it ends up 8 for 21. One touchdown, two picks. Probably negative 100. Nope, negative 56 yards after all the sacks. And he fumbled. So it's going to be at home against number 12, Florida State, for the 1-9 Cal Bears. I mean, let's see if they can get a win. It looks like the Bears are able to get some fans at the game just because it's a top 12 team, I guess. So there are some fans in the seats. Probably more so to watch Florida State than to watch Henry Hall would be my guess. But, you know, I can't speak for everyone. But we're going to keep it on the read option. And that we fool him. And Henry Hall almost gets the first down. Five-yard run for Henry Hall. So, I mean, maybe he can run the ball a little bit on the read option. They're just saying, like, we don't care if Henry Hall runs it. And that we just get stuffed on third and one. Unreal. It's going to be a punt. First and ten from the one-yard line. This is not ideal. Do hand it off. Do get some room. Two-yard game. Coach says let's run it again. So we'll run it again. I don't know how our left tackle is a star or an impact player. Because uh, our O line literally doesn't block, and yeah, I'm not. I'm not just about to give up on this drive, Coach. I don't care if we're backed up. We're throwing it deep to Matthews over the top, and the safety's on it. So we're gonna have our receiver. That's not pass interference. No. All right. So we're gonna punt again. And Florida State is gonna get a touchdown. So it's going to be 7-0. to zero. And we're going to hand it off. And running back is going to take a hit. And he has five carries for four yards. 
So coach says, let's probably try to throw it here. Does have Matthews on the curl route. Does make the throw. Does make the catch for the first down. Coach says, let's go with the play action here, even though it's not going to fool nobody because we can't run the ball. But Henry Hall's going to take a three hits. He literally took three hits on that play. And his wearing tear is already, like, he's been, like, literally on his last breath. I would say. And he's probably going to take another hit off the play action. Fumbles, but we are able to recover it. So Coach says, let's throw a screen pass since you're just absolutely getting demolished here. And we are going to throw the screen pass. Does get it out without taking a hit, which is lovely. And picks up 10 yards. And it will be another punt for the offense. It is going to be first and 10 from the 20. The defense gets a stop. Coach says, let's go with the screen pass to start this drive. And does get it out. And almost gets a first down. So, eight yards on the screen pass. And Coach says, let's go read option again. And, I mean, shoot, last time we kept it, it worked. But they play it, so we're going to hand it off. Do get the first down. And Coach says, let's go back to it. Let's run it back-to-back -back time. See if we'll fool them this time, huh? And we're going to hand it off again. And it's going to be one-yard gain. So... Second and nine here from the 33, hand it off, gets up field, gain a five for third and four. Coach says, let's go with the draw play. So we're going to run the draw play and see if it works. And it looked promising, but the D tackle at Florida State is too good. And another punt for the offense. So first and 10 from the 23, so our defense must have got a turnover or something because we are in the red zone. Running back does get a nice run, seven yards there. Coach says, let's run it again. Let's see if we can upset a Florida State team. Really, we're really playing for nothing but uh, pride. Henry Hall's probably playing, playing for uh, a chance to even come back to Cal because he's probably not welcomed here uh, at the moment. So it's going to be first and goal. From the eight after the read option handoff. And we might be able to get points here. If we can block. Decent run, three yards. Coach says just keep handing it off, Henry. Just keep handing it off. And Henry says, sir, yes, sir. And that's going to be, oh, it, oh, he does get in the end zone. So touchdown Bears to tie it up. I have 55 seconds here to try to tie it back up. Or possibly get a field goal. Does have a man. Gets the first. So, good start to the drive. Coach says, Vert comebacks is the call. Don't know if I love it. And I just do a pick. And that's going to be a pick six. Another pick six for Henry Hall. So, back on the field very quickly. And it is 21 to 7. So it wasn't looking too bad for the Bears. And can he get it out? Oh, he had him so much space if he could get the pass out. He had so much space if he could get the pass out. Second and 10. Just throw it up. Bad ball, but a good catch. We'll take it. We will take it. Just throw it up and pray. So we probably should have called a timeout, but, you know, our coach doesn't really care to try to win games. And he does have a man wide open. And he does deliver it, but it's a touchdown. He stays in bound. Touchdown Bears. Henry Hall with a nice read, nice ball. So he does make up for the pick six. And the defense does get a stop to start the second half. So the Bears can tie it here. They're in enemy territory, and that's just blown up. Oh, my God. He took three hits. And... Coach says run it again, so I mean we'll run it again, coach. Whatever you say. See, oh, does get a nice block. Uh, does have a nice hole, breaks a man, and does get a first down. So good call, coach. We'll take it. And coach says read option here for Henry Hall. Says Henry, why don't you take it into your own hands, huh? And he says, nope, I'm gonna hand it off and let him take the hit for a loss of one. So I mean, at this point. Why not just keep handing it off? Because we're going to get the yard back. 
Third and ten. Coach says, Henry, please, please get us a first down. I think the whole staff's probably going to be fired next year, too. And he does have a man come across. Matthews does take a hit. Matthews does spin down to the six-yard line. So good ball by Henry Hall. And six-yard line. First and goal. Henry Hall's going to run. Henry Hall has room. He does dives in the end zone. Henry Hall with a rushing touchdown. And that is going to tie the game up for the Cow Bears. And the crowd is loving it. Yep, crowd is loving it. Bears can get points on this drive. They will take the lead. Surprisingly. I don't know how. Does have a man over the top. That's picked. Almost picked. Almost picked. I don't like curls here. Let's go with... Let's see if we can get the drag underneath. Or Matthews on the post. And let's just throw it underneath before he takes the hit. And we get five yards there. So coach says play action double post here. Which means we'll probably take a sack because we're not going to have no time to throw it. And that's exactly what happened. I can just see the future, apparently. First state does score. So we are in the fourth quarter now. 28-21. Can Henry Hall lead the Bears down the field? Does try to run. Breaks some tackle. Stiff arms a man. Gets two yards, actually. I don't know why. Uh, shoot. Henry Hall might need to run it more because he'd be breaking some tackles low-key. Does have a man coming across, but they run into each other. But he is able to make the catch for five yards. And I should have switched this play because I don't really like it. But let's see. Can Matthews get separation? Doesn't get separation. Throws it up for grabs, and that's going to be incompletion. Probably another punt. So the defense does get a stop here. And Henry Hall could tie it up again. Has another chance to lead the Bears down the field. And he's going to take a sack. Because why wouldn't he? O-line cannot hold up. Receivers cannot get separation. And there's literally nothing open. There's literally nothing open. There's nothing open. I have two people double teamed, and there's still nothing open. This is actually miserable. And they're going to play the outside. Matthews actually makes the catch. Fourth and two. Coach says go for it. So the big catch by Matthews does give the Bears a chance to go for it here. Does have the running back. Is able to get the first down. And it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. So after, it looked like the drive had no hope. Hall connects with Matthews to give them hope. And he's going to run and protect the ball and get 10 yards. So maybe Hall just has to run more, I guess, apparently. And it's going to be first and 10. And he takes a hit again. He is just taking a beating all season long. It's actually insane. Let's see if Matthews can beat his man. Does beat him. Does he beat the safety too? Does beat the safety. But he drops the pass. I don't like that play. I like the screen play. We'll go screen play to see if we can make it third or fourth and short. Or get the first. Has the blockers. Gets the first. Gets the first. Another screen play. Why not? Why not run a different one to the other side? Gets it out. Gets blocks. I don't know why the running back didn't just run wide. So he only gets three yards. And Henry Hall's hurting. But he says he's on fire. He's going to lead this team. He said he's leading this team to points. And he throws it to the running back for two yards. But every yard matters at this point. And I don't know if I like this play call. And he takes a hit. And I don't like that play. I like I like the slots out. I like the slots out, and I probably I'm probably throwing it to the running back here. And there's just they just get a free rusher. And Florida State gets the ball. We have three timeouts, so we might have a chance. Let's see. Let's sim it slow to see. And you can see the wear and tear is just crazy on Henry Hall. Minus 19 speed, minus 19 throw power. Penalty against the defense, so that's probably the game. Wait. Hold on. We got the ball back. Don't know how. Don't. Not going to ask questions. 
I'm just going to lead us to a touchdown. Does have him deep. No safety over the top. For 38 seconds. No timeouts. Can we get better play calls, coach? No timeouts here. Henry Hall's going to run. And he's going to run. And he's going to fumble. And that's going to be the ball game. After he takes a hit, I don't know what else to do. Because he's about to get pressure, takes a hit, fumbles, and that's the ball game. And the Bear fans are stunned again. Which I don't blame them. They are booing Henry Hall at the moment. Saying he stinks. He's not welcome back on campus after this year. And I don't blame them. I do not blame them at this point. They might only have one more game left to watch Henry Hall play football. So Henry Hall finished 14 for 24, 196 yards with a 58 completion percentage, one touchdown, one pick, and two fumbles. Minus three rushing yards, so he, had, he almost had positive rushing yards. All right, so the Bears are going to finish the season at Boston College as they're 1 in 10. They will try to play spoiler to keep him Boston College out of a bowl game. So we'll see if... Henry Hall can win the trust back over the Bear fans. You can see I'm not, I'm not, they're not even uh, letting Henry Hall in the athletic training room anymore to get treatment. That is why his wear and tear is so bad because uh, they said he can't get treatment no more. They're trying to push him to transfer, which at this point I do not blame them at all. So we're going to hand it off on the RPO, gain of nothing. Coach says draw play. Henry Hall says no. I'm throwing it, coach. I'm going out on my sword, and I'm going to lead us to a win this game. And he does throw, have Matthews, throws it on the money. Matthews turns up the sideline. That's a touchdown. Henry Hall says no. I'm getting my film right for the transfer portal. If y'all don't want me here, I don't care. I'm throwing dots. Come on. And I think Boston College did score. Yep, they did. So it's going to be first and 10. And going to have Matthews again. But the linebacker does come over and bats it down. And coach says we're going to run it on second and 10 in a 7 7 ball game. Hands it off. And it's going to be third and nine. Third and nine. And does have a man, but he does not actually have a man. He has a Florida State defender. And it's going to be picked off. And Henry Hall does try to take a, make a hit at the end of the play. But that's going to be interception for Henry Hall. It's kind of normal at this point. Let's run the RPO bubble. Does have the bubble. Gets it out. And it's going to get a gain of six. So Henry Hall has made a good throw to Matthews. Bad throw with the interception. And no one gets fooled on the read option there. And that's going to take us to the end of the first. It's going to be 10-7. Boston College with the lead. Third and eight for the Bears. To start the second quarter, they're going to get a free rusher. Can he throw it on the run? Oh, that's going to be another pick. Can Henry Hall make the tackle? Oh, he laid him out, actually, I think. So maybe Henry Hall should go play linebacker or something. Because that was actually a pretty good hit. I think it looked like a good hit. Be 17 to 7. Henry Hall from the 25. Hands it off. One yard gain. So it's going to be crossers here. And. Henry Hall's going to have room to run. Protect the ball. Gets a first down. 10-yard gain on the rush. So it's going to be first and 10 from the 36. It's going to have a man. Does keep it in bounds. Five-yard gain, though. Second and five. Coach is letting Henry Hall air it out a little bit. Does have a man coming across the middle. Delivers it on the money. Gets down the sideline. Another big gain for the Bears. Code calls this shitty ass play again. And 
and Henry Hall's going to take a hit. Nothing's open. That place sucks. Literally, that place sucks. It's terrible. Does have the little mid screen. It's going to go for three yards. On third and six, coach says screen pass. Let's at least flip the screen pass. To the wide side. We might be able to get a field goal here. I think coach just wants to get in field goal range. Does get it out. And that should get us a field goal. It should. You never know. College kicker. Might miss. From 44. Very manageable. And he does get it. So it's going to be 24 to 10, though, because they do score a touchdown. And Hall has a chance to get the Bears down the field, get them points. And the corner is going to sit on the out route, almost picks it off. So second and 10. Let's see what the Bears can do. And it's going to be a sack because our team can't block. And they're going to call timeout because they want the ball back to put up more points. And we're going to hand it off right into a tackle. And it's going to be a punt. Our running back has five carries, zero rushing yards. That said zero rushing yards, folks. Zero rushing yards on five carries. We do get a chance. Must have got a turnover or something. To try to put up points with 18 seconds. And if you believe, you shall achieve a fumble. Henry Hall fumbles. A fumble. Boston College team gets a... Uh, what are they, the Eagles? They get a, a field goal on one of their possessions. Henry Hall runs. Almost escapes, but it's going to get sacked. Again and again. So we're going to throw it here. Does have a man, but just doesn't have time. Coach says screen pass. Don't like the screen pass. I want to throw it over the top to Matthews if the safety leaves. If not, I'm throwing it to Hunter. Those are my two options. Hunter and Matthews. Will I have time? It's going to be Matthews. Or, I mean, Hunter. And that's a good ball. That's a great ball, but he can't hold on. That was actually a great pass if he could hold on, though. And another field goal for Boston College. So it's going to be first and 10. And it's going to be another sack. I just, nothing's open. I mean, I guess I can just dump it off the whole game, but it's like, what's the point? We need to drive down the field. Like, I can just do this all game and get seven yards. But it's like, we need to, we need to score points. We're down 30 to, 30 to 10. And I have no time. Like, I have a man, but no time. So it's like, is Coach going to go for it? No, we're going to punt it again. The Bears fans just can't wait for this game to get over because it's going to be Henry Hall's last game, most likely, in a Bears uniform. And just run. Just run for your life. Takes a big hit, but gets the first down. Like, just run, I guess. We can just run it. Why not? Just run. Look. Two yards. We'll take it. It's better than a sack. So second and eight. Should have ran earlier. I mean, he just take a hit from three people. I'm I'm actually shocked that he hasn't gotten like a career in, career ending injury. Like I'm actually shocked. He does have room to run. That is gonna get us the first. Does slide with the first down, so big run for Henry Hall. I don't know how he's running, because he has like literally like 50 speed right now after the wear and tear. Does have the running back. Delivers it on the money. Breaks a tackle. Gets down the sideline. That might be a touchdown. That is a touchdown. Cow Bears do score a touchdown. It is possible. And the defense gets a stop. What's the score? We might have a little bit of life here, fellas. We do have life if we can get a quick touchdown. But that's not going to happen. We're going to get sacked. But it's going to be second and 19 for the Bears. And there's just nothing. I had the running back, but, like, I'm getting pressure every single snap. And that's a pick. Nope, it's going to be a completion. So we got to go for it. 
fourth and 12. All go never works. And we're going to get pressured, get it out, incomplete. Another incompletion. Boston College gets a touchdown, because why wouldn't they? So it's going to be first and 10 from the 25-yard line, and there's going to be no time. Another sack for Boston College. This O-line is terrible. I, like I said, though, I think they. I don't even think they're that bad. I just think they literally hate Henry Hall. Like, they literally hate him. And circle's wide open. I got to throw it to circle. But, like, that place sucks. Pass interference? It's got to be pass interference, right? Literally has to be pass interference. It is pass interference. So the Bears continuing to drive it after the PI. Circle's open. Yep, just throw the circle, maybe. More passes to circle. Maybe that's what we're missing. We got to look at both sides of the field. We look. Henry Hall zones in on Matthews too much. And that's going to... No, I mean, we didn't have enough time. 11 sacks? The Bears have zero sacks? They have 11 sacks. I mean... Good ball. Bad ball. A catch. Catchable. A catchable ball is a good ball for Henry Hall. Maybe that's what it is. I got to throw it on to the right side of the field a little bit more. Might have found something. Might have found something. But it's a little too late. And that's not going to be nothing. It might be a little bit too late, though, folks. Second and long. I tried to throw it. 13 sacks. So if you played the Cow Bears, you're probably getting the sack record. I'll tell you that much. Which I don't know what it is, but it's whatever. Like, I don't even, like, okay, sometimes I hold the ball too long, but, like, I there's nothing I could do there. Like, that's a pick. And, and can we bring them down? The line is too slow. I'm too slow. Block in the back? Oh. So a pick six, 99 yards for Boston College. I mean, they got the backup receivers in now. Henry Hall, this could be one of his last throws as a bear. As they said, your scholarship is no longer valid here on this great campus. Run. Just run. Hurry up. This could be the last pass in Henry Hall's career at Cal. Who's it going to go to? It got to go to Matthews. It got to go to Matthews. Give him a chance. And... What better way for Henry Hall to end his Cow Bears career than with a pick? And it might go for six, and it doesn't go for six. So Henry Hall and the Bears lose 43-17. to Another loss for Henry Hall. Another multiple interception game for Henry Hall. So Hall finishes 12 for 24, two touchdowns, four picks, in probably his last game as a... Uh, as a cow bear and we didn't hand off the ball after he had five carries for no yards and Henry Hall ran it 19 times probably what 13 of those were him getting sacked technically so so Henry Hall finishes the year with almost 3,000 yards 224 for 408 four touchdowns 38 interceptions 54 completion percentage I mean that's not very good for a quarterback I would say your team has had a disappointing year and will not make a bowl game. What will it take to turn it around next season? We're just going to call out the coach. It will take our coach being better, pretty simple, or maybe we'll get lucky and get a new one. Wow. Yeah, coach trust decrease there. Uh, Henry Hall said he's going out firing. So Henry Hall has some decisions to make. Does he enter the transfer portal? 
And let's see who's calling. He has a few schools. You got the Navy, who went 1-11 last year, where he would start at. Cal, which that those ties are done. And there's some Northern Illinois, Buffalo, Hawaii he might be able to start at, Washington State, Air Force, Northwestern. Some schools he can go be a backup for. Or it says he can leave for the NFL. So does Henry Hall retire? He could retire or he can enter the transfer portal. And after, after that miserable season, Henry Hall is going to retire from college football and he is going to become a football coach. So his football career is going to be over and he will become a coach, an offensive coordinator to start. So that is going to be it for Henry Hall's playing career. And stay tuned for the start of Henry Hall's coaching career.